Great Scott. Great Scott indeed, everyone. It's Back to the Future, the game. The game. After a long history of horrible, poorly done games based on the movies, except for perhaps the only known good one that I ever heard of, which was only released in Japan. Japan. I have to say it's very strange when a Western a movie originating from the West gets a great video game adaptation in another country. It's the same thing with the Ghostbusters 2. Europe and Japan got an awesome Ghostbusters 2 game by HAL Laboratories. We got junk. But anyway, we're not here about the past, we're here about the future. And the future is hold and behold back to the future of the game. Released on the PC, the Nintendo Wii, and the PS3. We, the uh, Let's Play we did, was obviously done on the Wii version, as you can obviously see in front of you. Um, most of my complaints are probably only on the Nintendo Wii version. I have not played the PC or the PS3 version, so... I think my complaints have to do with the limitations of the Wii or bad po porting it to the Wii. But whatever the problems are, I'm I'm pretty faithful. They're probably much better in the PC version at least. PS3 version may have some of the same problems, potentially maybe. But I'm hoping those problems probably wouldn't be that big, uh, considering it has better load capacity in that. Anyway, Back to the Future of the Game takes place after the third movie. It's basically Back to the Future 4, essentially. It takes place after the last movie. And you play as Molly McFly, and you go on a crazy new time adventure saving Doc. Just to give a brief start of the game, Doc ends up in jail in the past, and Marty has to get him out. And uh, this turn of events ends up wildly changing all the course of history as Marty tries to restore time back to how it was in a five-episode game. Now, I don't know if there's a compilation of all five episodes on the PC. I think they're all separate. But on the PS3 and the Wii, you get all five episodes on one disc. Or on one download. Well, okay, I don't know how the PS3's download version of it is, but... Either way, there are five episodes. Uh, the physical versions have all episodes. Um, if it's a download, I'm not necessarily sure if you're going to get all episodes in one download. But anyway... My issues with the game were mostly with uh, weird animation. Sometimes, like when it loads in and changes or scene transitions a lot. Like I know at like the science fair expo that's midway in the game, I nimble for a brief second, and it's in my let's play. Um, I'd have to look. But there was like a brief second when it's loading in, where one of the characters or one of the if you ever messed with a 3D editing program, usually the default like structure of the save file usually has their arms separate and the legs straight and them standing up. And that person was in that motion and then quickly we went to, you know, how they were. So this seems to be kind of a loading transition problem, and there seems to be some kind of skip frenzy problem sometimes as it uh, transitions from one animation to another sometimes. The dialogue sadly joins with their animation occasionally. Again, I hope these are just the Wii version. But being a, click, a point and click eventual game, I thought the Wii version would be superior sadly. Um, in its controls, it's okay. The only real problem I had with the controls was the nunchuck stick. If you use the analog stick instead of point and hold or pull or move around, when the camera changes its angle to a new scene while you're walking, you it like it it's hard to explain. Like let's say I'm walking up and then I scene transition to a side, Molly's gonna it's going to it's hard to explain the control the the analog stick just 
you would expect Marty to continue going forward in his direction. So when transitioning to a side view, you would expect him to keep going forward, but instead it just kind of goes bonkers, so you have to let go and we hold your direction. And it's just kind of weird. So um, you're probably better off using the click and drag of the uh, actual remote. If you're playing on the Wii, obviously, um, you're not going to be able to do on the on the PS3, obviously. But overall, um, aside from these small problems, and it's not a really expensive game, so you can be a little forgiving of some problems too. It doesn't destroy the cool experience of the game, but it can take you a little out of enjoyable moments occasionally. It's just like. But it's definitely not a horrible game. It's a fun, great addition to the story of Back to the Future. And I have to say, Episode 3 and 4 was probably one of my favorite parts of the game. I just can't get over with what happened during those episodes. Uh, episode 5, um, kind of it's kind of what happened in the final episode was kind of... Quickie, that it, it didn't. The ending was okay. Uh, it was a nice throwback to uh, the Back to the Future movie endings. There's a lot of Back to the Future references in here, so if you're a big movie buff for the Back to the Future, you're gonna see a lot of lines and stuff that's just throwing throwing back references to it. But um, it's a point click adventure game. It's pretty simplistic in that. Um, I know a lot of old point and click games had a very notorious thing of like having weird objects being used in strange situations and I didn't really experience much of that kind of feeling in this I'd say it's pretty aside from one part at the end where you have to kind of give a character a wee experience of something that happened um, which leaves you a little you have to put together a little but aside from that, mostly everything is uh, pretty self-explanatory. That um, there ain't a lot of item management. There's pretty low item management as opposed to a lot of old quick adventure games, and um, a lot of it's pretty common sense of that. So it's it's pretty fun. Dialogue's awesome. And of course, with the voice work of the original. Um, oh. I always forget actors' names all the time. But, I mean, you know, the guy who played Doc, I mean, awesome guy. It was great to have him replays his role. It was sad that the actor for Mario McFly did not replace his role as Mario McFly. Because, to my understanding, he was busy doing something at the time when the game was being made. But, he got some free time near the end of the game's fifth episode. And he got to play as a different character related to Mario McFly. So, he did get to be in the game, but he did not get to replace his role. But, you would never notice the difference since the actor who is playing Mario McFly is considered the greatest the greatest fake actor of Mario McFly. Like, he, he was famous for sounding like Mario McFly, and now he gets to be Mario McFly. I remember watching an interview where he's just like, oh my goodness, this is like an insane crazy dream, you know? But overall, back to the future of the game. Very good. I would probably recommend trying the PS3 or the PC version. Probably the PC version's probably the best since that was its original, originally created on. I'm not really saying the PS3 version is going to be better because I haven't played it, but I would think with the Bell hardware, its version would probably be a little Bell in scene transition, probably. The Wii version is playable, it's good, it's still fun, but some of the weird funky animation problems that happen during the game are a little distracting. Like, you know, when you're getting into it, it's like, oh, um. But overall, I would highly recommend any version, but I would say don't go with the Wii version if you have the option to do the PC or the PS3, probably. Now, before you do that, though, you might want to look up about the PS3 version just to make sure. But I think it's probably going to be a better version than the Wii one. But if you really do want the 
the uh, point and click experience console wise that works pretty good in the Wii version of all I really enjoyed it it was great it was fabulous and it was a fun let's play so I highly recommend checking it out sometime and uh, the console versions are really cheap they're only nineteen dollars so it's good experience and I got some good time out of them I ended up with 14 episodes, and I generally do about an hour long, so that's that's pretty good time length for um, just $19, that. So, anyway, if you excuse me, I seem to have a small slime problem in the apartment, so if you don't mind, we'll catch you later next time, folks.